It's that time when many of us make that annual resolution to lose weight. Unfortunately, not everybody has a whole lot of success, so we have invited the certified personal trainer, Greg McCoy, to come in and talk to us here today. And Greg, sorry about that. Good to have you with us here on Portland's Afternoon News. Hey, happy to be here, Tim. Thanks for having me. Why is it so hard to keep our New Year's resolution to eat right and exercise, do you think? You know, it's not an easy task. It, it takes discipline, but there's a lot of pitfalls that people can avoid. Each person really needs to take a real honest look about what they want to accomplish in the next year and then understand where they might fall off the bandwagon. And that might be the diet. That's most people, right? It can be exercise. Some people are great in the kitchen, but don't like to exercise. It could be lack of support system. So I've got a goal, but my family and friends aren't really on board. So I get frustrated and stop. Identify where you fall off in years past and address it accordingly. How much of the problem when it comes to not being successful at losing weight do you think can be attributed to exercise and how much of it is diet? You know, as a gym owner, I hate to even say this, but you can truly do most of this with diet alone. However, I will say that there's so many benefits to exercise. Your blood work is going to be better. Your energy is going to be better. And the neuroscientist community, I'll actually tell you that effects on your brain alone would be worth it. Certified personal trainer Greg McCoy is with us today on Portland's Afternoon News. And we're talking about why so many of us struggle to keep a New Year's resolution to lose weight. Greg, so many people lead a busy life and they find it difficult to make time for an exercise routine. What do you tell your clients to keep them motivated? You know, our clients that are getting results, they really own the morning. And that might be sacrificing a little bit of sleep or trying to be more disciplined at the time you go to bed. And then two, one of the, the biggest areas we've had success is with habit tracking. Having just a simple checklist of three to five things that you can do on a daily basis and having some way to evaluate your score, we equate this to saving money. You don't feel like you saved money, your bank account's bigger. You know, I know it can be difficult to eat healthy. The grocery stores offer a whole lot of options, and it seems like a lot of them are highly processed foods. The ingredient labels can be really confusing. What's your recommendation there? You've probably heard this before, but you want to shop around the outside of the store. Your produce is in the front. As you walk the perimeter, generally that's where you've got the meat aisle, and then you've got uh, you know the eggs and the dairy in the back. That should be the bulk of what you're buying. Really good information. I wish we had all day long because we could talk about this all day long. He's personal trainer Greg McCoy. He's been our guest here on Portland's Afternoon News. Greg, thanks for the time, and here's to a great new year for you as well. Yeah, happy new year to you guys. Thank you, Tim.